that, that means everything got to change. You can't not be the same. You can't keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, right, to be a new creature. How you was, the old man has passed away. The new man is what we're looking at trying to be re refreshed in the, in the spirit. Because the carnal man, the carnal doesn't, can't fight, it's, it's fighting against the spirit. Right, right. Right? Right. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is what? Weak. Why is the flesh weak? Because you got these spirits that you're dealing with, that you're trying to eliminate, that, that's got, that's been in you all your life. Like you got spirits around us right now, around wherever you are. Spirits all around, because we're the spirits of the Most High, they're right on the earth, waiting on the commandment of the Most High. That's just some spirits. You got other spirits. What about the invisible spirits that the Mashiach God shot made? He made invisible spirits that you don't see. I mean, look at them. I mean, they get in the minds of people and have them act a certain way. And that's what that's what you got to understand. Those are demons. Those are spirits that the Mashiach God shot was saying, "Come out of him! Come out of him!" Like those spirits that say legions, mm -hmm. two thousand, yeah. two thousand in one person, two thousand in one person. He said, "Hey, let me go down. The, let me go into the hogs and go down the hill and go into the water." Did he recognize it? The spirits knew. The spirits know. The spirits know. Look, uh, give me Psalms fifty and sixteen. Psalm chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked, the Most High said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? So say, to the wicked, the Most High said, What do you mean, declaring my statutes? You got no right to be opening up this Bible and trying to teach my word. Didn't we just read, As for the way of the Most High and the Mashiach El Shai, we have not known it. So who are we to take up for someone that's never known the way of the Most High or Mashiach Yahweh Shai? And you can't say they have because somebody will be tearing down Caesar Boy's year of their race. Not just us, but of their race. This is wrong. I mean, they know. They said that, that Edom is, the, we just read it. Edom is the only neighbor of the Israelites that's not given any promise of mercy from the Most High. So what you going to get? You eat a what you think you're going to get? No promise of mercy from the Most High. I don't take a rocket science to figure that out. Because he says, what he said, read that again. But unto the wicked, the Most High said, What hast thou to do to declare my statute? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Yeah. Or that you should take your the Most High's covenant into their mouth. We got to establish who the covenant was with. Psalms 105, 8 to 10. Hold that. Psalms 105, 8 to 10. That's just, we established who the covenant was with. That they could take the, the covenant of the Most High in their mouth. Psalm chapter 105, verse 8. Yet remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. So he remembers his covenant forever. Me? Which covenant he made with Abraham and his spoke unto Isaac. Confirm the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. So he made the covenant with Abraham, passed on to Isaac his son, passed on to Jacob for an everlasting covenant. Okay. So when you go back to Psalms 50 and 16 again, 
So he's but unto the wicked, the most high said, What is thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? You're gonna take the covenant of the most high who was given to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, not Esau, but to Jacob. And to Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, for a covenant forever. So what you doing trying to teach my Bible? Teach my covenant I have with my chosen people. When you already know, it said in Wisdom Solomon 5 and 7, that's for the way of the most high of Mashiach, Yahushai, we have not known it. So here they are, not knowing the scriptures, not knowing these precepts, never going to know the way of the most high. That's when we're going to salvation. That's what they're going to be saying. So it's not like we reading something and it applies to any time before that they might know. Because he said, most I said, what you doing trying to teach my body? What you doing trying to hold on to my covenant when I gave it to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to the 12 tribes of Israel? It says, saying thou hated instruction. So this is this is what this is the spirit of Esau. What they, they they hate instruction. Can't tell them nothing. And this is the wicked. They hate of instruction and casts my words behind thee. The most high words not important. They cast their, the most high's words behind them. Why? Because they pride. That spirit of pride is all in this world. But how you look at it, the spirit of pride. Is dominant in this world that we are now. Also, every one. It says, When thou saw a thief, then thou consented with him and has been partaker with adulterers. So they saw a thief, they saw somebody robbing, they all joined in with them. So they all stole us from our land and they all benefit from stealing us from our land, they bid it for coming over here, taking us off our land, and going overseas, taking us overseas on them ships. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. I mean, come on. What more do you need? I'll just read, I meant to bring the paper where the police, looking at the video, incited with the beatdown of somebody else. Headline. I'll bring it out to him. It says, Thou sit up and speak of against thy brother. Who's his brother? Who's Esau's brother? Jacob. Jacob, y'all sit up and talk up against your brother. Thou slander thine own mother's son. He's slandering us all the time. These are the ones that people are always, our people are always concerned about. Well, what about them? What about them? They're not concerned about us? You know, who's concerned about us? We ain't even concerned about ourselves. You have people in front of you say, hey man, this is for you. This is talking, the Bible is your book. It's our story. What do they care? They'd be like, oh man, what about the white people? Ain't nobody concerned about the Vietnamese, the Eskimos, anybody else? Cambodians? That's way off. Oh man, that's the last thing they gonna think of. They're concerned about Masa, the oppressor. And you think about it, most people are already indoctrinated with the way he want them to be. Divide and conquer. That's why Masha got shot. He ain't come for peace. He ain't come for no peace on this earth. He came to, to escalate, to fulfill what it is he said he's gonna do. Division. Did thou sit up and speak against thy mother, thy brother. Thou slander thine own mother's son. Slandering us. Call us all the different names, by words. But he think he got us. He do have a lot of our people. But he don't have everybody. Because some of us are coming out of that darkness into the marvelous light of this truth. Following the laws of Tashi Kamai to the most high. And getting away from the pride. And not being like him. What did he say? He hated instruction. And casts my words behind him. He's, that's, the, that's the spirit of being Edomanized. When you can't be instructed. It's a, 
verse 21. These things hast thou done, and I have kept silent. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such and one as thyself. See, they thought the most high and the Mashiach Kavashah, you can't deny this, was one like them. Why he say that? Because who they set up to be the most high? Who they set up to be a Mashiach Kavashah? Themselves. And here we are, as leaders trying to get our people to come out of that mindset that he have everybody in. Because, come on, everybody's really been programmed. And they say, well, this is, how I, this is the world that I've been raised in. The world you've been raised in is wicked. This world is wicked. Under the regime of the Edomites. It says, these things hast thou done, and I kept silent. Most of us say, been silent. That's why King David said in Psalm 83rd chapter, right quick, Psalm 83rd chapter, hold that. He said, first thing he said was, keep not thy silence, O Most High. Hold not thy peace, and be not still. That's what he said. For lo, thine enemies make a turmoil, and they that hate thee, that's to hate the Most High, hate them, I shall, I shall have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. I mean, it's, it's all, he just, most I speak once, yea, twice, man perceive it not. Why? Because they ain't function enough, they ain't focused enough. They don't understand how you get this understanding to these precepts. Because they ain't been taught this way. Plus, you don't want to work. This is a lot of work to do this. It's a lot of work that has to be put into this. This isn't something that you just look at, oh, I got it. Now it's going to be okay. No. You got you to gotta work toward this. Going back to Psalms 49 again. Verse 21 said, These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such and one as thyself. So he was just like, you know, most eyes, one just like them. But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. That's what's happening right now to the one third of the twelve tribes of Israel. We've been set how in order. Before their eyes. 